I'm pretty happy with that. What is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is the Coolai Espresso and welcome back to another Infinite Warfare video here today on the channel. In this one, we're going to take a look at something that is closing out the 12 days of winter within Infinite Warfare, that event for free gifts to players every single day logging on, as well as then something a little bit interesting about it here in particular. But that's it. If you guys do enjoy the video, make sure you drop a like down below. And of course, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe. And if you guys want to stay up to date with everything outside of YouTube, Twitter is the best place to get connected with me here with that. And that link is down there in the description below but today finishing off the 12 days of winter the final thing that we're getting here is actually a legendary variant of the k bar or kbar and this one is actually awesome all you have to do to get it is simply log on as with the other ones you just go and open up your free supply drop in the quartermaster which has the designated amount of time left on it but for today's it is the k bar igloo buster legendary variant and the specific part that everybody may love about this one is that it is a nuke variant you can get a nuclear or deatomizer strike here with this whenever it is equipped and you get the subsequent amount of kills needed here for that. So that said, it is doubled with stockpile weapon perk that gives you more ammo, but this is all awesome and everything, right? The only thing then that comes down to this is that this is actually the exact same variant as the bunker buster. The KBAR32 bunker buster is the exact same thing as the igloo buster, but just renamed. So for a lot of people, this might not seem like a problem, but for others, there are some people that are quite upset here with this, or rather disappointed is the way to say this probably. For those of you guys that don't know, it is a little bit tougher to get salvage in Infinite Warfare. You basically have to rely on supply drops, and for those of you guys that are like me and don't buy COD points and supply drops, it does take a lot of time to get the necessary amount of keys to get the amount of supply drops needed to get any sort of real amount of salvage. There are daily bonuses, yes, and if you have the season pass, it doubles up every so often, but for the most part, it is a little bit tougher than we may have hoped for or even saw in the beta to get salvage. So some of these weapons to unlock them via salvage definitely take a little bit of time, and the K-Bar 32 that was the Bunker Buster, that one with this the nuke variant on it was something that was a legendary item. So it took the increments of 200, 500, and 2,000 salvage to unlock via salvage. So 2,700 salvage is needed to unlock this naturally, but it is something that people got for free for simply logging on today. So some people feel like they got cheated here out of this. It was a brand new variant that was introduced not too long ago here in Infinite Warfare. So some people spent all their salvage on that and therefore then got it, wasted the salvage essentially, and then could have the option to get it for free today. So bearing that in mind, it definitely is something where there is certainly allowed to be some frustration here with this, but whether or not we get some salvage back for the people that got this and logged on today, that's something that I'm kind of curious to see how will play out with Infinity Ward. They did refund people for their prestige token and their permanent unlock token whenever people spent it on the care package, since it was previously in the 40s to unlock, and it was now moved into almost a default slot a couple ranks up I think it's like four or five that you can unlock it now at but people that spent their unlock token on that got it refunded whenever it was fixed so I'm wondering if this will be something where people that logged on today and they can see that kind of stuff what accounts were active on what days that is something that I'm wondering if they'll take that into consideration and then refund salvage for those people that did already spend it on the other K bar variant so that said it is something where you can log on right now and get a free nuclear variant with the KBAR 32, the Igloo Buster, but if you have something where you already spent the salvage on the Bunker Buster, it is totally understandable if you're a little bit frustrated. But that's gonna wrap it up. Just wanna let you guys know about this, touch on the subject a little bit because once again, kind of got a duplicate here for some people so it's interesting to see where this falls in the opinion of everybody so that said if you have an opinion on it drop your thoughts down there in the comment section down below i would love to hear your thoughts on all this leave it down there in the comments but if you guys did enjoy the video make sure you drop a like down below and of course if you guys are new to the channel make sure you guys subscribe to stay up to date with everything infinite warfare modern warfare mastered black ops 3 and anything call of duty related here up on the channel so one final thing if you guys want to follow me over on twitter once again link is down there as well that'll keep you guys in touch with me more so out side of just YouTube. I practically live on Twitter, so if you want to get in touch with me, that's the best place to do so. But thank you dudes so much for watching. Hopefully you guys are having a great day. Happy New Year once again. I'll see you guys later. My name is Nicole Espresso. Take care and peace.